Hey everybody, how's it going today? It's great to have you back here for another episode of From the Depths. My name is Scrote, and we are going to be just snooging along together, hand in hand. Uh, let me show you something though. I actually went and built a new ship. I call it the X-20 Skyhammer. It's the bigger brother to the X-10 Sky Delight. It's about twice the cost. Uh, it has just a little bit bigger payload, and the, the payload it shoots is just a little bit bigger. But it has a much faster reload, and um, it's, it's a much faster ship. So here you can see the X-10 Sky Delight was 170 thou RP with a 46,000 in metal, and the X-20 is 84,000 in metal, 340,000 RP. So let's load it up so you can get a look at it here. Here it is. It's uh, it's nothing amazing. It uh, it has a super exposed payload of missiles on the top. It's normally meant to, to fly a little high. I think it, uh, its cruising altitude is like 370 meters um, with a uh, minimum altitude of like 160 or something like that. So let me uh, just load up a classic Marauder, and we can take a look at it in potential combat here. You can see what a little shot of its payload looks like. Maybe. Maybe. Here he goes. Pew, 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 pew. He shoots a whole bunch. Every now and then he'll get a few missiles that uh, don't track super great just because of the layout of the ship. But all of the missiles are set to uh, completely random blocks. And the reason for that is that, you, you know, you need to have, like two or three of these X-10s in a group. So he is 900, about a thousand meters away right now. Uh, we'll, we'll let him do one more pass, and uh, and then we'll head back into the campaign. If he will do another pass, let's see. So these are definitely meant to be in a group with, uh, you know, three plus. And uh, so I've already actually made a fleet in the campaign with five of them, since they aren't super expensive. So here you can see, nice little payload delivery. Coming down here, pretty glorious. Uh, let's take a look. So, yeah, we've already taken off like 300 blocks on the Marauder. Not bad. It's not great. But, you know, then again, it's not a very expensive ship. It's fast. It has lots of repairing. You know, that's that's my go-to. I like to have lots of repairing. And um, it's not a super complex design. It's pretty basic, to be honest. So, yeah, let's just follow this last little shot of uh, missiles here. You know, even though he has a one turn on there, sometimes a lot of the missiles don't track. It's... But that's okay. That's all right. It's just us and the Marauder. Okay, so yeah, there it is. There's the X-20. Let's head back into the campaign so I can show you guys some of the stuff that I've done. Load it up, Season 2. This is great. We're making pretty good progress. It's it's actually not bad. Um, we have taken out, like, at least one or two squares of the Steel Striders in every episode, which, you know, amounts to one to two pretty big battles. So... Here we are. Let me quickly get the strategic impulses. You know, it's the classic start to the game for me. Strategic impulsoring up into the skies. I know there's like another one over here. I'm getting pretty decent at remembering where they're at. I know there's one up here. Yep. One right here. Yep. And one right here. Yippity yippity skip yep. All right. Great. So, first off, we've got a few problems here. We've got the shortest uh, Icaridito bus fleet. Uh, we are now blockaded with uh, an enemy Steel Strider force coming at us here. Force count of four. We've got Hell's Navy with a force count of three. I think that's the one we want to start with today. And then down here, look, here's what I did. We've got our stolen Striders fleet uh, from the last episode. Um, I have repaired these up, and I have even I went ahead and retrofitted the Thunder Child with our, our retrofit version. I haven't touched these two yet, so they are still just the base, the base ships. Uh, you know, I don't know if we'll bring them into play quite yet. They they may need some work, I think. And then here's our new our new fleet called the Sky's Hammer. Uh, we have five of the X-20 Sky Hammers in there. Should be should be a fun fleet. And uh, we as you can see here, we've got another Steel Strider Force making its way down here. So uh, I'm thinking, let's go ahead and kick this bad boy off. Let's let's get down here to Hell's Navy. So we've got two of our Holland Foyers and three X-10 Sky Delights, and we are going up against Force Count of Three. I think we should be okay here. You know, pretty sure. But let's just find out. Now I can't stop myself. Okay, where are all of our X-10s? Here they are. That is as high as that one will go. Oh, is he the hurt one? No, he's not. Hmm. Very strange. Well, let's find the enemy. Where are they? They are behind us. Oh, boysies are oh boisterous. Let's get our guys. Okay, we're all situated here. Perfect. I'm going to start off by bringing in both the Holland Foyers. Hmm. Yeah, just like this. Here we go. Battle time! And bring in the next one. How many points? So, 
Uh, yeah, we can bring in a X10. I think just... Oh, maybe two? Oh, we can bring them all in. Okay. He's starting off backwards. That's super cool. All right, let me get off here. Let's make sure... Oh, my gosh. All in four. Oh, my jeez. Nobody's combat is on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. Oh, yeah. I like... Oh, my God. That X10. Is this the damaged one? Let's go look. Uh, yes, it is. That is the damaged one. So, let's see what we're hammering on over here, shall we? Oh, what is this? Look at this, another new one. An Asphodel. An Asphodel. Well, he is just getting utterly obliterated by our uh, Holenfoyers. And the X-10s are really beating it down, but golly. Yeah, those Holenfoyers are, uh... They're having at it quite, quite thoroughly. So, behind him, we have a Caesar. Good old Caesar. Love it. And up here we've got something as well. I forgot the name of this. Let's go find out. The flea! <laughs> it's a flea! Oh me, oh my, oh. Okay. Both Holland Foyers are just unleashing. The oh, look, he's even shooting his missiles. Good lord. Over the uh, deck of one of the other ones. Let's go ahead and just turn this uh, X-10 off because he is looking like a total noob right now. In fact, can I bring him out of play? Nope, not yet. Oh no, oh no, look what's happening. Oh no! He he shot his uh, torpedoes at him. Okay, so our Holden Foyers hit the flea with their huge cannons. That's impressive. That is always impressive. Uh, it looks like the As Asphodel is out of commish, and the Caesar's about to be toast. One of the X-10s has a grip coming at him. Oh yeah, that's grip. Yeah, I think that's gonna that's gonna be wow, man. This Hell's Navy fleet is is impressive. This is quite fantastic. They're getting some heals going on over here. Maybe he'll be able to take off. Let's let's see. Go, little baby. Oh, sh oh snap! No! Oh my gosh! I have nobody to blame but myself for that one. Holy smokes! That pretty much killed it. That kills the things, everybody. That kills the things. Okay, this battle is done. Let's go ahead and pull all. I'll deal with that X-10 Sky Delight some other time. Uh, but we've got this to deal with as well. So let's get... Uh, ooh, I haven't healed that Icarus up yet. Crap. All right, you know what? This is this is a time for the Sky Hammer. Ooh. Oh, I wonder if this will work. Hang on, I'm going to try something sweet. Let's try this. Skyhammer flies at a solid 53. Let's try to, like, flank these guys a little bit. You know? Let's see if that works. I don't want to get too far into their territory. Like this. Check this out. This is going to be totally rad. And then like this. Boom. Oh, cool. Okay, let's give this a try. And see if, like, it's actually possible to flank a dank, you know? Uh, what are we dealing with here? Okay, so I can see all the enemies. We are facing the, the right direction with the X-20s. Well, let's bring him into play and see how Skyhammer does, shall we? Here we go! Come on, Skyhammer. I have so much faith in you. Be amazing! We got all five of them. All five of the Skyhammers. Got some missiles coming down. That's a good start. I think I put a couple sets of fins on the missiles. Oh yeah, here we go. Skyhammers. Unleashing the beast. Oh yeah, here we go. Utterly wrecking the uh, Dromeo, I think that is. Uh, this guy's getting wrecked. Oh my gosh. We are... Woo, baby, man. First, oh, look at all these missiles. Sweet mother. Okay, let's see if these missiles can uh, turn in time to hit this guy. Oh yeah, they are. They're, they're doing it. Okay, uh, I'm digging this fleet. Granted, we essentially were just fighting, like, airborne, you know, ships. Uh, these may not have been, like, air-to-air -air ships. I don't know, but this is a really cool-looking one right here. That's the Aurora. Definitely a cool-looking beast. Oh, no! Oh, we've been hit something fierce. Did we have a mid-air collision? We may have. Because this guy's uh, deep in the water. He's shooting his missiles. I wonder if they'll get out. Come on, get out. There they go. Oh, look at this. This is going to work out perfect. Boom! 
Boom! The flea is is uh, not having a great day. Neither's this guy. You know what's amazing though? Still flying. Still flying. I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying. Pretty awesome. Flea just got hit again. So we essentially have four of our ships up in the air. One of them, he's in a death spiral, I think. And I can almost guarantee you that they rammed each other. That's that's probably what happened. It's unfortunate, you know, when it happens, but uh, it does. And this guy's stuck in a death spiral for some reason. I don't know why either. Hey, look, he's, he's getting out. You can do it. All right, so all we've got left is the Aurora, and maybe these are enough to take it out? So the X-20s definitely need some tweaking. I think that's for sure. Definitely need to get up in there, do a little tweakaroo. All right, that was the end of the Aurora. Okay, that was not bad. Not bad. Um, they definitely rammed each other. They pulled what I like to call a classic short bus. That should have been the battle. Who's left? Okay, here we go. Sky's hammer. All right, so y'all hang 10. I'm going to do some repairs. Let's see. Yeah, because, I mean, he's at 92. They do have self-repairs. So, you know, they almost got back up, actually. But uh, we're going to do this up. So hang 10. All right. We're all healed up. We're looking good. That's the Sky Hammer group. Golly, I, I kind of want to, like, take them up and... and Somewhere else. I want to bring this Hell's Navy as well. Man, they really rocked it. Got to fix up that X-10 Sky Delight, though. Okay, let's go look up here. Let's see what we were doing. I know I wanted to take some of these out. So I'm thinking I might bring the Storm Cloud fleet. Yeah, let's give them a go. Let's let's try it out. Uh, let's take up this 73-pointer up here. How about that? Times 10 it. So we still have a force coming at us. we gotta got to remember that. Don't want them to get uh, sneaky-peaky on us. Sneaky peaky, wow. Uh, never let me say that again, please. That's that's not going to be happening. All right, force count seven. Oof, oof, big one. See what we're dealing with, shall we? All right, I see a uh, Dromeo. Oh, there's an SMS Otter. That's a that's a fun little ship. Got a, <gasps> ooh, a Norge. I wonder if that's different than the CC Norge, or if that's just the same thing. All right, let's, uh, well, shoot, let's give it a go. We're bringing in four ships. They're bringing in seven. I have a feeling we should be able to get our whole fleet in, so I'm just going to try to do just that. Maybe? Go, baby. Load? Load? Please don't crash. Oh my gosh, please don't crash. Oh, phew. That freaked me out. Okay. I realized I hadn't saved yet, and I was like, if you crash, oh, it's going to suck. Okay, so the uh, we've got the what are these called again? It's been a while. The uh, storm clouds, yeah, the storm clouds. Here they come, shooting a myriad of oh my god. Yep, that is a, a CC Norge. Okay, this could potentially really suck. Interface off. Oh, and it's nighttime. Maybe hard to see the initial happenings of the battle here, but we've got uh, just a grip of missiles coming down from the storm clouds. Uh, we've already blown up something on one of the enemy ships something is definitely blown up screenshot very cool very cool so is any of that us I don't think so I don't think not yet Let, let's find out maybe maybe we can get up here and see yep a little Dromeo he's a cute one Mr. Dromeo ooh we got some some payload systems here some missile launchers Okay, let's zoom out a bit. See if we... Oh my god, look at the heels going on this thing. Alright, wow, we... Uh, I didn't know the Destroyer 01S had this many heels. Holy smokes. Well, he's fixing the Norge right up. That's not good. That's not going to bode well for us. Alright, let's try to get a grip on where all of our ships are. We still haven't taken any damage. Our, our bombers... This is a... Talk about a fantastic battle to be having with bombers. Yeah, look, here here go their bombs. Cause uh, you know, we're we got the huge battleships down here. And they're shooting some stuff up at us, but look, it's just oh well. Oh, they just ran out of juice. Wow, there is a bunch going on, my friends. 
Oh my gosh. Where are these going? Oh, but they do look tasty. They do. Oh man, look at them. It's amazing. Like, wow. Like the sunrise was just glinting off the front of the missiles. They were amazing. All right, where's one of our storm clouds? Let's uh, let's go into one of the storm clouds. See how he's doing. I love this ship, by the way. It's so cool, and it's got the uh, it's got all the shielding on there for the cannon fire. It's pretty quick. Missiles seem to be just missing. Turn my speakers down some here, cause woof, kind of loud. Well, now I can't hear anything. Okay. How are we doing? We're st okay, so we're pretty much at 100%. This is pretty great. Like. This may have been an extremely optimal group to bring up against the Steel Striders. The uh, SMS Otter over here is taking taking a beating. Oh yeah, you can see the SP bomber, um, you know, bombs just dropping on there. Oh no, go! Oh, what are y'all doing? You should not be holding hands like that. Oh, they should not be. Why? Why is that a thing? But he did drop some bombs. Are they gonna hit the storm cloud? Oh no! Get out of there, storm cloud! Oh Jesus! Woo! Okay, we're still good. We're gonna follow the bombs. We're gonna follow them down. Maybe they're gonna go after the sea otter. Oh come on, you little beautiful bombs. We're still looking okay. Uh, this has been working out pretty nicely so far. Let's keep following the bombs. Oh yeah, we're going after the sea otter. Here he is. Let's see how much damage. He's at 3,050 blocks. Okay, that's a big menu. Look at all the ordnance just falling all around us. Here comes some more of the, the uh, missiles or the bombs or the mines or whatever you want to call these. Boom! How you doing, Sea Otter? 2400. Whoa, that took off a bunch. Yes, that was awesome. And here's a Caesar, I think. Wow, you know, I didn't realize the cannon on the Caesar was so big. That's beastly. Oh, look at this solid grip of uh, mines coming in here onto the Norge. Oh, they're hitting in a great spot, too. Right on top of one of his, like, main cannon areas. Yes, please. Yes. There's so much stuff happening over here. Look at this destruction. Hmm. CC Norge, oh, you're eating it. Your whole, like, little command center. Yeah, we've taken off 900 blocks. That's not bad, you know? That's not bad. I mean, I'm thinking about writing a book about it. It's it's so not bad. Oh, another stream. Boy, these F SP jets, or bombers, if anything, are efficient. I mean, that's, that's like a multiple big payloads, you know? I'm all about that. It's always good to, you know, keep the reload time quick, you know? Nice and high on your ship. Well... Not nice and high, you know what I mean? Like, nice and low, fast. Fast, fast reload. That's the words we're looking for. Alright, the destroyer, he still seems to be doing okay. He's only been, you know, he's only missing like 600 or so blocks. We do have a grip coming down here. How are we doing? We're still doing okay. We are still doing okay. So, it seems like all we have left are these ground-based units... So what I'm thinking we're going to do, I'm going to keep like a cool zoomed out view like this, and we're going to do like some fast motion, since uh, this battle's going to be going on for a bit, and uh, we'll, we'll see how this looks. So you guys just hang 10, I'm going to put some tunes on, or maybe tunes are already playing, they're probably already playing, let's see how this pans out.
So I don't, I don't actually know what happened there. Uh, the, both the storm clouds, for some reason, um, just took off, and they they actually completely separated from the fleet. And I, I never really know why this happens. Uh, I'm not never quite sure. So let's see here if we can get this. In fact, where's the other one? Where'd he go? Here he is. He's way over here. So let's get these guys grouped back up. I don't know what in the world happened there. That's so strange. But, you know what we're going to do now? Let's bring down the inbound love fleet. I'm going to let them do the finishing off here. Uh, whoa, Scrote, what are you doing? What are you doing, Scrotely? I'm going to get both these guys right here. And I'll let the inbound love fleet catch up to these guys, finish them off. Let's see here. It's just the two ships. So let's see how inbound love does. Remember, it's got all of our X-10s. Okay, let's turn off the rain. Let's get the interface on. Let's figure out where everybody is. Look at that. Like, one of them is beached just about. Well, shoot, they're both almost beached. Beached. Meep, meep. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. I want these guys like, like that. I don't know. Let's just find out who's going to be coming into play here. Come on, baby. It's been a while since I've gotten to see the, the beautiful X-10s shooting out of their nostril zone area things. All right, everybody's combat and stuff is on. Great, one of them's backwards. Totally cool. Totally cool. Here we go. So the Razor Maul is already chewing into the CC Norge. Now this Destroyer 01S has been keeping this thing, like, almost fully healed. He's missing about, you know, 1,500 blocks. All right, here we go. Got the X-10s coming down. Uh, well, we got one of them that shot his missiles so far. The other two did not shoot their missiles. I don't know why. Oh, boy, the Razor Maul's going to uh, harpoon him, though. Here they go. Oh, isn't this just a lovely shot? Look at this one. Woo, man. Beautiful. Okay, let's see what the Razor Maul is going to do with the, uh, the the Norge in his grip. I'm highly doubtful anything's really going to come of that. All right, so we've, we've hit the... I'm, I really want us to take out this destroyer. Like, I really want us to take out that destroyer. As soon as we do, this battle will just get that much easier. Um, you know, because he won't be doing all those crazy heals. However, thankfully, he's not healing quick enough to uh, keep the Norge up and running, I think. Here we go. Another solid grip. These X-10s are efficient. I'll give them that much. And look at that. He even split his payload. That's great. Some for the Destroyer. Some for the Norge. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Hopefully it's not something goofy like, It's the Norge. <laughs> it's the bigger brother of Jorge. All right, the destroyer's exploding. Ooh, wait, is that like cutting in half right there? Almost. I can see all the way through it. You know, like transparent lingerie. Uh, that is my favorite. That is my favorite. All right, we got more missiles coming down here. We are making pretty quick work of these guys. I don't really think, honestly, that the uh, Razor Maul is probably doing too much with the harpoons. I don't think he's big enough to turn these guys. I don't know. The destroyer's turning a little bit. That's not that's not bad. So many missiles. So many missiles. Where are they gonna go? I'm trying to turn my speakers down some there. Okay. So I think we're we're definitely making quicker progress this time. Uh, yeah, once those storm clouds, I don't know why they just took off. It's very strange. But they just sort of like sayonara out of there, man. They were like, you know what? We're done. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> we're done with this game. Oh, no. Look out, Razor Maul. Look out, friend. Oh, whew. Solid grip coming down here in the Norge. Will he take it? So he was at 8,100 blocks just a little bit ago. Let's take a look here. Uh, 7,100. We take him up in about another 1,000. That's not bad. That is not bad. All right, let's 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 get back down here. Let's take a look now. Okay, not bad at all. All right, so let's do this again. Uh, let's get the grand view. I'm going to 
keep the tunes going, I guess, or maybe change them up or something like that. And let's uh, do a little bit of time lapse. So y'all just hang tight. Got to get a good view first, though, you know, like a cool view. Here we go. All right, all right, here we go. All right, we did it. It's blowing up. Right as the Razor Maw kind of lifts it out of the water, you know, gives it that one last uh, grand view of the sky before it just fully disintegrates. I hear some missiles coming in. Whoa, yep. Yes, boy, that was a lot. Interface on? Cool, yeah, that got us back up to uh, one million metal, which is great. All right, that was actually a pretty big victory. That was a lot of blocks. That was our inbound love fleet, so I need to fix up these guys. So let's take a look around here. How are we doing? What else do we have? Uh, we've got this other fleet who's... Oh no, he's got our anemone. You know what? Uh, let's, let's go take him on. This may be just a little bit of a longer episode. I hope that's okay. Let's give the sky... Uh, the sky's hammer one more try, shall we? And just see how they fare. Turn them around a bit. Okay, where are they at? What are we looking at? Here we go. Perfect. Uh, let's take a look at what we're dealing with, if we can. Whoa, 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 screw it. Uh, we've got a Dromeo. We've got a Greyhound. Cool little, uh, you know, the Huey McChewy. We've got a Hornet and a Mulp. Oh, this should be a fun little group. Let's do it. Sky's Hammer. Go. Woo, okay. New ships are always fun. All right. We'll remove the old interface there. Well, many seconds ago, but whatever. Here they come. I see... I see some missiles. Oh, we've taken some hits already. How are they going to do, though? Oh, they're taking some hits. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's got heals. You son of a gun. Oh, yeah. Look at all these missiles. I love it. Got to hit that mole. How are we doing? So we did take some damage, but he's healing back up, probably. I don't know how the Mulp is going to fare with so many missiles coming in. Oh, he may not be faring so well, my friends. We'll send the Mulp on a journey. You know? Maybe it's it's kind of like the Fellowship of the Ring. You know, the Mulp, he's got a mission. Get to the Black Gates of Mordor and uh, high-five Sauron or whatever. Oh, no! Did we have a mid-air collision? I think we may have. I think we may have had multiple mid-air collisions. Yes. Absolutely. All sorts of shenanigans just happened up in the air. We'll see how well these guys are able to heal in a pinch. Uh, almost max. Okay, so not bad. Not bad. The real question will be just, you know, their durability. Like, long term. Can they, can they survive for like, you know, 10 minutes in a battle? Alright, how are you going to deal with this Greyhound? What are you going to do, dude? What are you going to do? Boom! Oh, we are nailing the Greyhound. He... Wow, he took it like a champion. What the heck? I mean, he's going down. He's definitely going down. How are we doing? We're almost all the way healed. I love that. Oh, shoot. What? Oh, no! He's got AI. He's got... Th oh, his engine. His engine got blown up. Oh, he's engineless. We'll just have to wait for one of them to, like, fly over here. Yeah, these guys are all on, like, the same cruising altitudes, so you're going to see this happen in a bunch. I have really got to change that. 
Oh man. It's a good thing they got heals, man. Shoot. This would be a disaster otherwise. I mean, it already is. They are. They are. I'll be honest. They're giving the uh, short bus a run for their money. I think this guy's gonna bite it. Oh no, that's not good. Oh no, Nelly, Nelly, Smelly, that is not good. No. Oh. Oh, stop. Yeah, get out of there. Wow, how are you doing that? That's amazing if he's able to, like, figure out... Wow, we... Okay. Anyways. All right, we got some more uh, shots coming down here. This is what I like to see. I like to see continuous shooting. I mean, look at the hole in this guy. Oh, don't ram each other. Oh, I have got to fix them up. Oh, boy. This is happening a whole bunch. Greyhound getting some missiles. So you notice there, the missiles were actually out of fuel, but they were still able to guide to this guy, because I've got the uh, augmented guidance system on there, which is very nice. Okay, so we keep ramming each other, but we're, you know, health-wise, not, not doing so bad. This guy doesn't have an engine. Uh, this guy might not be able to ever pull up. Which one is this? Here, let's try this. Watch. We'll wait for him to, like, point up a little bit. Go, friend! Ah, uh, no. He's, he's definitely missing something but he should repair himself that's so strange so he's only, okay he's only at 95 percent that's why all right anyways more missiles coming down on the mulp so the x20 you know like the synopsis my my thoughts on it it's uh it's highly inefficient it keeps ramming itself but it does have a big payload it does have a lot of healing and those two things have been what... I mean, geez, it just shot this guy. Have been what are uh, keeping it alive. They're all, like, messed up to some degree. Like, look at this guy over here. Let's take a look at him. How's he doing? Uh, he's him. So, he's at 100% health. Let's see if this will work for him. Yes, that got him out. All right. See, we're, he was just waiting for his engine. You know, just waiting. Waiting and skating, really. And this guy might be able to get up out of the water now. Maybe not. Oh, it's nighttime. Shoot, Dunk. Yeah, he's... He just keeps pulling straight down. I still have a bunch of tweaks. Yeah, I really want to make to these guys. That would be super swell. Alright, so the X-10... Or X-10s. X-20s. Uh, here goes one shooting some missiles. Although he shot them at a weird... Oh, he's going after the Greyhound. No wonder. I was like, golly, he shot them so early. Yeah, that, that wrecked this guy. Why is he so durable? Wow, he's he's only sub a thousand blocks, but he sure is taking a beating. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yes, I want to see these connect. Boom! That wrecked him. And he's still just... Jeez. Oh no, we rammed each other again. I am the reason we're dying. I am the reason we are dying. Must fix. Short bus syndrome. Not good. Oh my gosh. They're doing the sexy ballet in the air. Each one wearing a tight, nice little leotard or something. Whatever they're called. Skin tightotard. That's probably not what they're... No, come on guys. Let go of each other. What are you doing? Oh, you're just wrecking them even more. Look what you did. You deserve it. I think we are, like, almost fully out of commission here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, where three of them are down. Here we go. A grip. This... Oh, come on. Finish off the Greyhound. How is he surviving this? It's blowing my mind. There he goes. That did it. That grip. There goes the next ten. Here we go. Here we go. Full payload coming out here. Great. Let's go down here to the mulp and see what kind of damage we're going to be doing. Because we are wrecking ourselves. Alright, mulp, how are you doing? Let's get down there and find out. Well, if we can, I'd like to. Oh, it's... Oh, the Destroyer 01S is called a mulp, I guess, on that outside screen. So we've taken off 1,400 blocks. Oh, sweet, these guys are right next to each other. This is perfect, look at this. Are these both? Oh, you couldn't ask for anything better. Oh my gosh. I love it. Let's just turn off both their AIs for now. 
and we'll let them cuddle, you know, do their thing. So there's, where's the third, where's the other one? There he is. I don't know, these guys aren't so bad. They're very derpy. They are very derpy. They really remind me of me. You can see the other ones back there just healing. They're almost both fully healed. So the destroyer. It's just so many blocks. The block counts on these are so intense. It is crazy. All right, these guys are healed up. So now, now I think they're ready. Nope. They're both dipping and gripping. Get up out. Get up out. There we go. Yay! We're back up and running, ladies and gentlemen. And we actually just finish off the destroyer. So that was that. Let's pull these guys out of play. Interface on. Okay. So, you know, we had a lot of repairing going on there. Uh, we dipped back under a million metal. Probably because we just had to keep the repairs going. Look at all of our ships. Like, when you just look around the map, it's cool. Just seeing green everywhere. Okay, so... This is great. We're in a good stopping point. We have shored up all of the uh, Steel Strider ships coming at us. We took out another square up here. And, you know, I think, well, we had like like four battles there. It's pretty good. Making pretty good progress. The uh, X-20, Sky's Hammer, it needs some tweaks. I'm going to work on it a bit. And I'd also like to work on no, 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 the Steel Striders group here. The Stolen Striders, excuse me. And beef up this uh, Destroyer and this Norge. Make them both, you know, do what I did to the Thunder Child, to these guys. So, yeah. Uh, we'll stop here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, everybody. It's been great having you here. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. And, uh, you know, we're just going to be kicking in the next one. If you guys have any comments or suggestions or thoughts, just drop me a line. Feel free to let me know. Uh, I love getting uh, feedback from you guys. So, anyways, until next time, hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy and stay classy.